Yeah, crossing the ocean like this really puts into perspective how vast the Pacific Ocean really is. I mean, it is just water and water and water and water for hours after hour after hour after hour. Good morning, everybody. Just enjoying a peaceful, quiet breakfast. I uh, was up at 3.30 this morning to help my wife and kids get out the door to catch their airline flight out to Kona. I'm leaving this afternoon. Gonna fly there direct from Stockton, California. And uh, we're gonna have a week out there. And it's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna document uh, the process and uh, the crossing and different things we think about and do when we're doing that because it's something we don't do very often but it's definitely fun and different so thanks for coming along be a fun trip so this will be mark's first ocean crossing and so we are going to do uh go through all of the uh, steps that we do when we fly off to hawaii um in that we will double check all of our waypoints on our route to make sure that everything is verified and all the winds and predicted winds are, are inputted into the FMS. But it's pretty cool. We'll be talking, talking to uh, San Francisco radio on the HF radio frequencies to be able to talk to them out over the middle of the Pacific Ocean. There's no radar coverage out there. Nobody can see you. So they depend on your uh, position reports. I'm excited. Come along, join us, and I'll show you the process. So we have our plan going from uh, Stockton to Hawaii coming into Kona. So one of the things we have to do is look at our uh, point of safe returns. We take a look over here at the depressurized cabin. Uh, one more over here is a uh, medical return. And then of course the other one is a uh, single engine return. So all those points are plotted and uh, we're fueled. We're ready to go. Yes. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. Yes, yeah, since uh, the leg from the west coast of the U.S. out to Hawaii, believe it or not, is the longest over water leg on the planet without any diversionary points. So it's uh, always interesting um, when you're here plotting your, uh, your equal time points. So you know if you have a certain emergency prior to a certain point, whether you turn around or you continue on to the islands. So that's what Mark was just showing us there on the screen. And now I'm going to go old school <laughs> and actually plot these on a plotting chart so you can see what that looks like. And uh, we have our latitude longitude coordinates here. So we'll plot those on the chart and we'll know where we can turn around. It's always satisfying when you get to those points and you know that no matter what, you're heading away. You're going to Hawaii. <laughs> So you see, based on these latitude longitude coordinates, those are equal time points. And then here we go with our plotted points. So we know where we can turn around or continue going. Here is our little cheat sheet for our position reports over the HF radios. Since nobody will see us, we have to give these position reports so that uh, they know where we are and know where we are as compared to everybody else crossing the ocean. Interesting stuff. All right, now we're checking our systems, testing our APU, checking our battery voltage. We're there and we're good for APU start. Job, we're going away. 
way, buddy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Don't jinx us, Mark. Well, we're going to Hawaii. <laughs> Gonna be awesome. So sing, single engine failure just after departure. Um, Hawaii. <laughs> Landing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Medical emergency. Hawaii. 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 Depressurization. Hawaii. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cast. Stand by power coming on. Our IRS is alive. Ground. Continue one Bravo Sierra. Hangar three. Oscar ready to copy. IFR clearance to Kona, Hawaii today. Number one, Bravo Sierra, stop and ground. Good morning. 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 Good Cleared to Kona via runway heading, then radar vectors BBOP as filed, 7,430 in five minutes, 125.13226 for 1 Bravo Sierra. Station 1 Bravo Sierra, we back correct. All right, we have our clearance, now we're going to put it into the box, and then we're going to check and verify each one of these waypoints on our flight plan and uh, make sure that each one is in the box, and then we will add, plug in the winds at each point and see what the computer thinks we'll have as far as gas when we get to where we're going. Okay, I'm filling out our little position report form and uh, copying down our FMS position and our IRS positions to uh, track them, making sure one of our IRSs isn't overly drifting and throwing off our position. Um, as we go. Of course, these days we have so much redundancy, even, you know, using our iPads, um, we'll be able to find our way, but a lot of this is uh, all good practice, and so this all is our right. Position. Okay. Yep. I'm ready. Let's go to Hawaii, buddy. All right. I'm ready. All Aloha. Right. Aloha. Uh, parking brake is set. ICAST is checked. IRS is aligned with no flags and standby. Gyro is uncaged. ADIS is now Quebec. It's a 290280 at 9, and altimeter is a 2980, which is set three times. The uh, clearance you heard it's runway heading up to 7,000 vectors BBOP as filed, and we got 3226251 for departure. Flight director is set. You're in heading and takeoff mode. FMS programmed and verified. Fuel quantity is adequate and balanced. And pressurization is set. Doors closed, ready for start. Continue. Okay, airplane mode. Isolation valve closed. APU bleeder is on ground recog coming on. Passenger safety set. Start pressure exceeds 30. And the time is noted. Starting right in. Get out. Pull back. Hydraulics and generators and generators checked. Flight controls. Five. Flight controls free and correct. Spray brakes checked and stowed. And it's not required. Cross we're not required. Transponders. Bravo two. Back and ground. Runway two nine right. Taxi via Bravo full length. Information Romeo just got cut. Wind two niner zero at one one. Altimeter two niner seven niner. Two niner right. Bravo and uh, we do have Romeo and Bravo here. Passengers have been briefed. Thrust reversers have been checked. Flaps are five selected and five indicated. Trim zero zero minus seven point zero for the full fuel load. B speeds are up at 137, 137, 144. Takeoff brief. All right, departing off of uh, 290 right, full length. Yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead and do full blank. I'm just going to get off the center lines a little bit. Okay. Anything prior to 80, we're going to abort. 80 to V1 is going to be a red light or directional control issues. After that, uh, it's back in the air. We are heavy, so we can come back here or take it over to Sacramento and uh, and do our inspection for overweight landing. Other than that, it's uh, runway heading up to 7,000 feet. Any questions? No questions. Come on, we're getting antsy. We're on ahead right. to the islands. <laughs> 
my umbrella drink is getting warm. <laughs> the ice is melting. Station it's... one, Bravo Sierra, caution, wake turbulence, runway two nine or right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff two nine right, citation one, Bravo Sierra, aloha. All right, Lineup is coming at you. Lights are set. Transponder T A R A N A ice as required. ICAST is checked. And you are clear for takeoff. 2 9 right. Hawaii bound. Here we go. Hello. Dodge those center line lights. <laughs> B2. Alright, pause the rate. Gear up. City so one bro here, contact North Cap departure, have a great flight. Contact departure, good evening. There we go, ready for takeoff flow. Take off flow. Here, uh, flight heading 270 and climb to maintain a 1212,000. Heading 270 up to 1212,000. All right, whenever we head out of Stockton for Hawaii, we always get a real beautiful view of the San Francisco Bay. It's a nice clear day. You can see the Golden Gate Bridge and the city. All the bridges of the bay. This will be our last view of land for a long, long time. It's going to go quickly. <laughs> it is. My watch says 3 o'clock. We won't be there until <laughs> 8 o'clock tonight Woo! on Pacific time. Yep, it's supposed to be a five hour flight. Okay, we just, uh, you might hear that obnoxious sound there. We just turned on our HF radios. Well, turned up our HF radios. So we're gonna tune the radios by keying the mic. We already have the frequency set. There, HF one and two are tuned and keyed up. So got 15 minutes to bebop. So when we hit our coast out point, we're also gonna ask for a cell call check. So a cell call check is like a pager. So you don't have to listen to that obnoxious HF radio sound. And uh, what they'll do is they'll basically send you a page and you'll see cell call HF12 on your screen here. So you get a ding and then the cell call message. That means they just paged you. And uh, then you call them back and see what they have to say. November 1, Bravo, Sierra Radar Service is now terminated. Change to Enrich Communications. Have a safe flight. Oh, 1, Bravo, Sierra. Good day. Aloha. All right. 11282. So now we're going to uh, go in en route. When you're out of radar contact, you squawk 2000. Well, we're approaching our next uh, reporting point of Baraz, and the winds are significantly higher on the nose than they were forecast to be. We're showing 85 knots on the nose, and we were supposed to have, I think, a 63 knot headwind at this point up here at 43,000 feet. So uh, part of our position report is gonna be putting in a request for flight level 470, and we're hoping we can get up to 47 and we'll get up out of this wind and we'll be sipping the gas and have even more gas when we get to Hawaii. And go faster. And go faster, yes sir. So we got two minutes to Baraz where we'll take pictures of our position sensors, confirm that that's where we actually are, and then make our report. 
San Francisco radio citation, November 1, Bravo, Sierra, position on 11282. November 1, Bravo, Sierra, San Francisco, go ahead. Yeah, citation November 1, Bravo, Sierra was at Barraz at 2346 Zulu, flight level 430, estimating Billow 0043 Zulu, Beckme next, request climb flight level 470, wind was 253 diagonal 87, temperature minus 61 degrees. Yep, that uh, that check spec me and then uh, but uh, we'd like to do our climb to four seven zero uh, ASAP. Just putting on that request. Roger, stand by request. It's holding eighty four here. Yeah, pretty close. That's probably us. Here it is. Uh, one Bravo Sierra responding to the cell call. Hello, one Bravo Sierra, San Francisco clear, KCC clears November, one Bravo Sierra, climb to maintain, flight level 470, report level for number 470, One Bravo Sierra cleared to climb and maintain flight level 470, report reaching 470, number one Bravo Sierra. Yeehaw, there it is. All right, there's 470. 470 set. All right, we do a flight level change. All right, I'm gonna turn him off. Go and back to comp one. Get a climb going here. All right. Come on, baby. What <laughs> you do? So, so far, our decision to climb up to 47,000 feet is paying off. We had 86 knots on the nose, I believe, down at 43,000. We're just about to level off at 47,000 feet, and uh, we're at 54 knots on the nose. So we lost 30 knots of wind on the nose, and uh, also now we're really sipping the gas. Well, for a Citation 10, we're sipping the gas. In the climb, we did a Mach 0.84 climb, and uh, with the climb D10, we're still only burning 1,600 pounds of fuel per hour total. Uh, so we're going faster across the ground, saving time, and we're burning less gas. So all good things. So once we uh, eventually level off at 47. <laughs> always good. I mean, it's a long swim if it's not. Uh, yeah. Yeah, crossing the ocean like this really puts into perspective how vast the Pacific Ocean really is. I mean, it is just water and water and water and water for hours after hour after hour after hour. It, uh, yeah. <laughs> you would, you would not want to swim in this. But this is, this is the calmest I've ever seen the water on any crossing. Usually you see some white and some chop, but it looks like uh, just a mirror down there. The reflection of the clouds on the water, it's, uh, it's beautiful. I've never seen it that calm down there. Nine miles up. And with 400 miles between reporting points, not a lot of talking. Okay, we're getting a record of our FMS positions and our IRS positions here at the Billow Waypoint, which is our next reporting point. Our IRSs have been matched up pretty well, which is great. It means one isn't drifting more than the other. <laughs> and uh, they're both pretty darn close to our FMS position. So our navigation systems are all looking really good. And uh, we're gonna make a report here shortly. San Francisco radio citation, November 1, Bravo, Sierra, position on 11282. One, one, two, citation, November 1, Bravo, Sierra was Billow at 0042 Zulu, flight level 470, estimating Beckme. 
zero one three nine Zulu. Board next. Wind two two nine diagonal six two. Temperature minus sixty five degrees. Copy general turn zero zero four two five zero four seven zero. Uh, that is uh, confirmed, November 1, Bravo Sierra. All right. All right. We are rocking and rolling, my friend. We're coming up on our ETPs right after Billow. I don't know how well you can see that, but coming up on Billow, we have uh, our engine in op ETP where if we lose an engine prior to this point, we turn around and fly back to uh, California. Lose an engine after this point, we continue on to Hawaii. We have to go to Hawaii. We have no choice. And uh, my wife and kids are airlining out. They should be landing here within an hour or so, um, along with our former nanny and her husband to uh, give my wife a hand on the airplane. But. Uh, with the kids, but uh, I guess they're also going to give us a date night. Yeah, Woo. it's nice to. Yeah, we're gonna have a date night, so free. watch the kids for us, so we can go out, and have a nice fancy dinner or adventure or whatever we want to do. So that's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna do the pool. The kids would love that. It's a little walk to the beach. Some really nice beaches there, close to where we're staying, and uh, you know. We are working. Absolutely. You can call it that. Every day a holiday, every meal a feast. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty good gig. Absolutely. Uh, that's that's true. Uh, check it out. 37 knots on the nose now. Yep. We are making up time, sipping the gas. We are now burning 1,500 pounds of fuel per hour total. Right. Center line Seven tank fuel is gone. Aside. We're on wings now. Yep. So we are cruising. I could uh, even ask for a speed increase if we wanted. Yeah, we're still landing with uh, 2.7. Yep. 2,700 pounds. All right, we can stay here at slugging along at Mach 0.84. Yeah, just slugging <laughs> <it. laughs> And, you know, we can savor the trip and enjoy six extra minutes of our ocean crossing, I guess. Yeah, my, my drink's getting warm. Let's uh, speed up here. Six minutes, I can be on my second drink. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll, I'll, talk to, I'll talk to San Francisco Radio about it. We'll see what they have to say. All right, there you go. <laughs> all right. Well, we're getting close to board, which means we are just about within radar coverage now. So we're, uh, we should be done with our HFs now. And uh, yep, we're getting pinged. So now we're gonna contact uh, HCF, which is Honolulu Control Facility. And uh, that's uh, basically like Oakland Center <laughs> out here. Uh -huh. So exciting stuff. Hopefully they can see us and get us under radar contact. And we don't have to say anything else on HF, right? No, then we're, then we're done, yep. So we don't have to do a position report here. Nope, unless they can't find us. Right. Then we'll but scramble we're, and we're do starting one, to ping off of them there a exactly. little bit, right? So they should be able to spot us. You can see that the uh, the water is a distinctively lighter blue color than it is when you're uh, leaving the California coast. Uh-huh. Tropical waters, my friend. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can reach them. HCF Center Citation, November 1, Bravo Sierra. We're about two minutes uh, outside of board, level 470. November 1, Bravo Sierra, it's the center clock 2366. 2366, number 1, Bravo Sierra. All right, he's talking at least. There we go. All right, should have us on radar contact. Jason, there's some rocks out here, huh? Yeah, I guess. We're still 250 miles oh. out. Land ho! Way over there to the south, you can see uh, the big island poking oh up over the gosh. clouds. Oh yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's always a cool sight when you first see it against uh -huh. the horizon. And you know, we're, what, 275 miles away? 
and you can see it. So we're up here at 47,000 oh, feet. Oh gosh. We can see for almost 300 miles. Actually, that is about 300 miles away because there's the 250 ring. Yeah, that's, that's the big island, right? 300 miles we're seeing up here. Yeah, that's the big island. Fly to the back side of that, yeah, that mountain and land. Exactly. Even if we lose all navigation now, we could find it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So number one Bravo CR with our contact board for the wreck Onohi and the Vecchi Niner arrival. Direct Onohi and the Vecchi Niner arrival. Citation one Bravo CR. Sweet. Bringing up the airport, HKO Coda, and the arrival, Vecchi 9. There's a Nohi. Yeah, that just puts you straight north. We get a nice uh, view of Maui. That's right, we cut right over the top of Maui. All right. And then just uh, head straight to the south. Two nine or nine or seven. All right. And your descent check. Altimeters are two nine nine seven. Set three times. Approach brief. All right. Uh, we're descending now to one two thousand. We got the uh, RNAV Yankee one seven set up with the uh, DA looks like five forty. And we're going to expect the visual backed up with the R and have any questions. No questions. I do have the airport in sight. Ish. What? <laughs> There's clouds out there. I can see the airport. <laughs> Those are high clouds. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see you can see the island coming down on the uh, below those clouds uh -huh. straight ahead. Yep. All right, approach briefing is complete. Now we're going to go R set. Minimums are set at 540. FMS programmed and did verify land data was confirmed. V speeds are set at 116, 126. Lights, seatbelt sign on. Exterior lights are on and pulsing. Set pressurization is set. Passenger briefing is uh, complete. Passenger safety set. Set check is complete. Watch.
is awesome. <laughs> hey, buddy. Daddy. I'm actually filming a video right now. Don't <laughs> Abby, what do you think of the sunset?